G'day reefers, I'm Cam the Fish Guy and thanks for watching Gallery Aquatica TV. So today we have an update of one of our builds, Tall Towers Reef, that we've been working on over the last few months. So we'll take you through the tank, how it's going uh, and what sort of things we need to look at and fix up in the future. So first of all, let's have a look at the tank. Here it is. As you can see, we've got a variety of corals and uh, a few new fish that we've added in here. Uh, we've got the Anthias, Tangs, there's a powder blue, uh, a number of cardinals, and quite a few new corals. You can see our hammers are doing well. We've got a war coral and fungia torches. Most of the corals are doing really well, but there are a couple of little uh, problems that we're gonna have a look at today. So since we set this tank up, we've been monitoring the important parameters such as calcium, carbonate hardness, magnesium, nitrate phosphate, salinity, and all the levels have been pretty good. The last time that we were here, so this is a, a week ago, we had a, the phosphate was actually significantly higher, so we'll have a look at that today. Probably need to just tune that skimmer a little bit better, um, but the carbonate hardness was low. 6.5 so we raised that the calcium was on the low side we've raised that as well but uh, I'll check the water in a sec but what I'm actually really happy to see in the tank is that coralline algae has started to grow and you can see on the on the overflow and on the back of the tank in particular we've got little round purple colonies of uh, coralline algae which is developing and that's a really good sign that the tank is coming along exactly as we would like. So soon we'll have more coralline on the rock work and that'll just make the tank look uh, brighter and, and nicer, but also to displace the problem algae like uh, diatomaceous algae, dinoflagellates, um, green hair algae. So that's a really good sign. It's something I always look for. Okay, so the first thing I notice when I open up the cabinet is that the skimmer is over skimming. So it's very easy to control skimmer. I'm just going to slightly open up the valve so that our level is skimming lower. I'll give this a bit of a clean out uh, and it should be okay from here, but um, we'd normally prefer this to be uh, a more concentrated uh, form of waste. So looking at our socks, our acrylic filter socks, they're catching lots of waste. Uh, we might give them a bit of a clean out today as well. We're just gonna do a bit of a, a basic sort of touch up of the, the algae and the, the filter and such. Our RO top up is doing well and I can see that the sensor is making contact with the water line at the back. We have a little bit of a mess of cables here and we still haven't decided exactly how we're gonna mount the power supplies. We do have the uh, dosing pump set up and running and our aquifero supplements are, are still outside the tank. Again, I think we're gonna put vessels here at some point, but the hard part with this tank is just ensuring that everything fits under here and we certainly need to do some cable management and just uh, find some better locations for all of this equipment. We're still running the return pump on its lowest setting. Um, we've got good flow through the tank and it's, it's running okay like this. Uh, again, we might crank it up a little bit, but it's going pretty well for now. So I'm happy enough with how everything is running down here. Let's just have a, a quick look at uh, a couple of the problems that I see up in the tank. So I can see two corals that aren't very happy at the moment. The first is this torch coral. And as you can see, part of the skeleton is exposed. Now this is the first time I've seen any recession on any of the corals and I'm not immediately concerned. I'll probably check the parameters and, and such. Uh, it's possible that it may have been uh, stung by something. The Giardini possibly would spread out. It's possible it's been nipped by something. Uh, I'm not too worried just yet and I'm gonna sort of see how this goes. 
we may need to remove it and dip it to save it. But what I'm actually most worried about is this Duncan coral, the finger coral. And if you can see in at the base, there's some significant tissue loss. And I really need to work out what is going on. My initial thought was that maybe the flow was too strong, but the fact that the polyps are out with relatively good polyp extension, uh, I don't think the flow is the problem. We have a, a pulsing flow from the Glamorca, and really it should be this, the perfect flow. So what I'll do is I'll have a, a closer look in there and um, see if I can work out what the problem is. Okay, I've got it. It's on my finger. Can you see that? Um, look at that. Incredible. So what I've found is a massive nudibranch at the base of the Duncan coral. And as you can see, the filaments that come off, and I'll have to remember the name for these things, that come off the back of the nudibranch are very, very similar in size to the tentacles of the Duncanopsamia. So I think that the damage that we've been seeing is actually this nudibranch feeding on the tissue of the Duncan coral. So this guy is gonna come out. Luckily he's stuck to my hand now, so it should be easy to get him out. So that is a massive nudibranch. Got him in the bucket now, so we'll take him outside and we'll see if we can get some good pictures of him. So now we've had an opportunity to check up on the tank and just to give you an update, um, and I'm happy with everything that I've seen. So what we'll be doing next with this tank is basically more corals. We won't focus so much on the fish in the coming few months, but we've got a lot of space on the rocks and we've put in a couple of test Acropora. So we've got a Dallas stag and the blue stag at the top there. Because they're going so well, I'm happy that we're at a stage that we can put more Acropora, maybe even some Montipora in and really fill the tank out nicely. So that's it for today's update of Tall Towers Reef. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Uh, don't forget to share our videos, to uh, put some comments in and hit the like button. Um, thanks for watching so much and uh, I'm Cam the Fish Guy. So that's our video for today. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe as well. We'll be putting out videos every week showing a, a new tank with new products. There's going to be lots in all the videos. I'm Cam the Fish Guy and keep on reefing.